Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and SPAN channel. In our today's video, we will use SPAN exchanger design and rating to design a plate and frame or plate type heat exchanger. And in our today's video, we will see how we can design the plate heat exchanger using the SPAN exchanger design and rating. Obviously, in SPAN HISIS or in SPAN Plus, we have used the heat exchanger or the shortcut heat exchanger. For the initial simulation but if we want to develop a rigorous design obviously we need the services of the s1 exchanger design and rating so if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel so we have been given the problem statement for plate and frame heat exchanger is that the mass flow rate in pound per hour for hot stream is seventy five thousand while for cold stream it is 50,000. The inlet temperature of the hot stream is 190 degree Fahrenheit for outlet. We have not been given the information, no worries. For inlet temperature of cold stream, the temperature is 50 degree Fahrenheit while outlet temperature is 140 degree Fahrenheit. The inlet pressure of both cold and hot streams are 64.7 PSI while the estimated and allowed pressure drop for both are 5 psi each. For fouling resistance for both is 0 0.005 and obviously we have been given the information about the media that is water on hot side and water on cool side. So basically we have to design a plate heat exchanger for which both these streams are actually water. So let's quickly go to SPAN exchanger design and rating and see how we can design this process. So first thing is we will click on this new we will select plate and then we will create it. Now it is created we will first see hot stream 1 as hot fluid and cold stream 2 as cold fluid or cold stream. Now we have been given the mass flow rate in pound per hour is 75,000 pound per hour. For cold fluid it is 50,000 pound per hour. The inlet temperature of the hot stream is 190 degree Fahrenheit while outlet temperature is not given. It will be estimated or calculated by the S1. For inlet temperature of cold fluid it is 50 degree Fahrenheit while outlet temperature is 140 degree Fahrenheit. Then we need to give the value of the pressure, absolute pressure 64.7 PSI and 64.7 PSI both for hot and cold fluid. We have been given the value of estimated pressure drop as 5 psi for both hot and cold fluid. And we have been given the fouling resistance as 0 0.005 square feet hour degree Fahrenheit per BTU for both hot and cold fluid. Now we have been defined the process data here completely. There is no unknown left over here. As you can see, there is no cross over here. Going to the physical property data, we have to define the media. So, accordingly, to define the water as media, we will go to the hot stream one composition. And instead of defining the user specified, we will select the BJAC model. We will go to the search data bank and type a few letters of the word you are looking for. We are looking for water. We have entered water, and now water is available over here. We will click on it, we will add it, and OK. And the composition is one because only water is involved in the system. If there is any other component in the system, then obviously we will have to write the specification over here. And accordingly, we have to select the composition specification over here because if it is one, either it is weight flow rate or weight fraction or mole flow rate, it will always remain one. The property method is the ideal method selected over here. The options as well, but for water, we are selecting the ideal model. Going to the cold stream to specific. Again, selecting BJAC, the same way search data bank, again water, added, OK, one, and property method is ID. Now, all of the information is specified over here. If you go to the heading remarks, there is no need to provide it. It is an optional step. In application options, the calculation mode is design. There is no particular information about the hot and cold side that it is either phase change involved or not. So, we will simply click on the run button to see the results and you can see the results are completed. There are two nodes provided to us. Number one is the consolidated process conditions for stream one 
try to the main calculations give a heat load of minus 4503042 BTU per hour for a flow of 75,000 pound per hour with outlet temperature. This outlet temperature is computed by the S1 because we had given the inlet temperature as 190 degree Fahrenheit. So the outlet temperature is 129.96 degree Fahrenheit and the vapor mass fraction is zero. Well, that of the core stream, the second stream, the consolidated process conditions for stream two prior to the main calculations give a heat load of 4503042 BTU per hour. So the amount of heat transfer from the hot stream is equal to the amount of heat gained by the cold stream for a flow rate of 50,000 pound per hour with outlet temperature of 140 degree Fahrenheit and again mass fraction vapor fraction is zero in the system. If we go to the optimization path, there are 12 designs which are computed by S1 for this problem statement and the optimized design is design number one which is selected or which is shown to you over here. If we go to the recap of design, this is the design which has been selected, the design number one. If we go to the API sheet, for this, this is the API sheet developed over here, which gives us the complete information about the fluid, the total flow rate, the pressure drops, the velocity between plates, wall shear stress, flow rates, and every information is given over here to us. If we go to the thermal hydraulic summary in performance tab, we have been given about the information Again, the same information, but a more bit detailed information about the MTD, surface area, overall coefficients, passes of the system, pore diameter, and in resistance distribution, again, we have been given all the informations. If we go to the heat transfer, we have been given information about the Reynolds number, Prandtl number. If we go to the pressure drop, we have been given about information about the pressure drop in the system, pore pressure drop, plate pressure drop. And if we go to the methods, we have been given that the plate method was used in the system. If we go to the mechanical summary in exchanger geometry, this has been given to us that the number of exchangers are 1, the total number of plates 57, the plate pack weight 189, the effective surface area 158.3, the plate material is stainless steel 304, the thermal conductivity is 9.2 BTU per fit per hour degree Fahrenheit. All the information about the basic geometry and then about the plates length, the plate width, plate thickness, plate pitch, area, width, everything is given. A detailed analysis is given over here. And if we go to the heat exchanger diagram, this is the main diagram that has been given to us that this is the stream one at 190 degree Fahrenheit. This stream one exit from this point at 120 degree Fahrenheit. The stream two enters at 50 degree Fahrenheit at outlet is at 140 degree Fahrenheit. This is the complete information about the exchanger geometry that is given to us. Then in cost, the costing information is given to us as well. So this is the overall depiction of how we can design a plate and frame or plate type heat exchanger using S1 exchanger design and rating. And you have seen every bit of information or every piece of information is provided to us. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer it. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.